Hi guys, the tour guide said it would be a quieter part of the uh, castle, often missed the higher ground. Everybody heads straight across to the keep and as we left the hospital tour he said if you head up to this part um, it'll take you right round. So the views from up here is brilliant. See the uh, Saxon church there. and views down across over to the western docks. You can just about make out some of the white cliffs of Dover there in the distance. We're obviously stood above the cliffs, on the cliffs. Anti-aircraft gun emplacement, Second World War, and the view across the channel. Fortunately, it's uh, a bit misty out there, so you can't quite see far. I'm entering now into a gun emplacement. There's my van, prominently parked. Got it quite early after opening. I'm up on top of one of the old battlements of the castle. Views out cliffs. Ahead is Henry's Tower or the Great Keep. I'll go and visit that soon. Yes, it is quite cold today. Behind the Langdon Cliffs. I'm not sure if you can see the white cliffs straight the sea straight from the sun of my eyes. to one of the magazines. Doors long since gone. There are so many different parts to this castle. This part here I've never even noticed before. I should go for a little explore, see what's down here. A 
love the fact that you can just roam around these places. It's not like a modern plastic theme park. This is real and some of these places are really dark and I can hardly see. That's why the camera can't see either. There's no health and safety guidelines here. It's just a case of go and enjoy. Certainly rain fire on your enemies down below there. So I've just seen behind me how many different levels of defences there are. And then once you've got past all that, you've still got this out in a wall. And then the other side of that you've got the keep. Everywhere you look there seems to be another tunnel. Passageway, room,
Of course you can always just knock on the door. Okay, so I'm in the medieval tunnels. And by the sounds of it, there are others down here too. The footpath is incredibly steep here. So we have a mixture of medieval tunnels from about 800 years ago and also about 200 years ago the tunnels were reused, redeveloped in Napoleonic times. can't actually go through this wall up ahead but if you could you'll come out in a minute where I'll remind you of what's the other side of that wall And remember, I've accessed these tunnels from the defender's point of view. If you were attacking, you'd come from the opposite direction, which is, um, I would imagine, nigh on impossible. It is so dark here, I can hardly see my feet. This tunnel is directly beneath the one I've just walked that had all those guns on it.
So now I'm the other side of that wall that I mentioned. And so as you approach that wall, you have to come right up close to it where you're being fired upon, down that tiny spiral staircase and under that passage below and up the other end all the time you're going to be under fire. There are so many tunnels here, I've counted three, but I can't go far along them, they're just absolutely pitch black. So now I'm approaching the sally port, or the concealed entrance, and what would have been the guard room which has a series of remote control doors. So here is the back door, which is the last of four doors in the space of about 10-15 metres, all operated by these remote control poles. So from here you could open and close each door in turn so that access isn't open to all doors at the same time. Well, as I'm passing back past the car park, it makes sense to stop for a cup of coffee and something to eat. I've been here three hours already. Well, if you've managed to watch all 20 minutes, thank you. And you'll be keen to know there is a third part coming very shortly.